Forcing me to do her yard work. What's wrong with her? It sure is a nice day, neighbor. It sure is a nice day, neighbor. Oh, man. I think Meanie's been turned into a robot. <laughs> Wally, give me that. <laughs> <Let's burp. laughs> <laughs> Wally, buddy, you gotta help me. Meanie's been replaced by a robot. But? It's just like those Space Invaders movies. First, they start by changing one. But soon, they take over the neighborhood and turn everyone into robots, man! Yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I couldn't sleep for a week. Wally, you will become one of us. I don't want to be a robot. Then we've got to stop her. But how? Water! If she's a robot, yeah, a spray of water will make her short circuit all kaplooey. Yeah. But Robot Meanie needs is a speedish car wash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go tell Meanie we're gonna wash her car. Then I'll get her to show us how to open the hood. When I give you this signal, you turn on the water full. Blast. Yeah, the signal. Hi, neighbor. Uh, yeah, uh, look, we want to wash your car for you, Meanie. That's a neighborly thing to do. Work, work, work. Yes, get to work, neighbor. You'll do a nice job, I'm certain, because it's such a nice day. Why didn't it work? Put it. The horse is... Oh! <laughs> it was his idea. I didn't know it would go all kaplooey. No problem, neighbor. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. You'll need some sheet metal, a radiator, some primer, new tires. And while you're out, why don't you neighbors stop and have an ice cream on me? Uh, oh, robot, 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 robot. We gotta get proof meaning he's a robot. And a picture's worth a thousand words. When I climb up and throw the rope down, you come up after me. Then we'll sneak in through her chimney and catch Meanie robot-handed. A-okay, Wally! Oh, what's you hurry up? Oh, boy! Oh, my lucky day! I think we made some noise with that. Accidents happen, neighbors. But I'll clean it up. Then I think I'll go clean up every house on the block. It's only a matter of time before everyone on the block is turned into robots. We have to go set up this electromagnet and zap her circuits good, yeah? This will be the power source. Once we plug the wires in, it'll magnetize the whole upstairs of the house. We need more power. 
power. Get me down, wood dugger! This home is a happy home. This home is a happy home. This home is a... Oh. Ooh, she's coming! Yeah. What do we do? What do we do? The robot's gonna get us good, yeah! Oh. This home is a happy home. This home is a... This home is a mess! How to be a good neighbor, my aching bunions. These self-help books are a load of hooey. You mean you're not a robot? I try to better myself to be a nicer person, but what does it get me? Deadly squat! Could this home ever be a happy home when I got two loons living next to me? It sure is nice to have the neighborhood back to normal. Ah, you said it, Woodpecker. No more robots. Maybe I ought to burn your houses down. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird Boy? <laughs> fuel, do you? Well, you're wrong, son! The Finder's Keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Dismissed! <laughs> what? You again? Say there, <laughs> short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh... Combustibles container 
And I cannot allow his transfer to non-military personnel without Form 5674 and 127 stroke cash. In triplicate. You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time. <laughs> Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. Hey! It's you again! What do you have to say for yourself now? Oh, right. You don't talk. <laughs> ah, lucky I remembered to borrow the platoon cookbook. Let's see. 800 onions, 50 pounds of salt, ah, half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay, stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. I'll take that. And you get off that machine. Now, shorty! No more! Take the can! Take it! Take everything! I'm going back to camp! Ending my leave! If I get any more rest and relaxation, it'll oh, change! Ticket to the ball game, please. Well, the game's sold out, pal. This line is for people who bought in advance. I just gotta see my favorite players up close. <gasps> Tweaky. That sports nut is more loaded than the bases before a grand slam. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe you'll buy these underwears worn by Big Butt McGurney in the. <laughs> We're out of the sweaty underwear business, Tweaky. You and me is now in the stealing this woodpecker's wallet business. <laughs> but we gotta get him out of this crowd. I told you, the game is sold out! <laughs> Hello, sports fan. Looking to see some big-time baseball stars up close and personal? Ah, uh, I can't. The game's sold out. Oh, well, I am Coach Buzz Buzzard from Buzzard's Fantasy Baseball Camp. Where you get to play real baseball with real baseball stars. And today I'm offering one lucky sports fan, and that would be you, a free membership. Just follow us. Free? Woo-hoo! Take me out to the fantasy ball game. 
sports camp is this? What? Uh, well, uh, it's the kind that's uh, out of the way. So those big baseball stars can hang out real private. Great. Let's get playing. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you go through the clubhouse there? Whew. Smells more like an outhouse. Stealing this room's wallet's gonna be tougher than I figured, Tweaky. Go make us a baseball field, and fast. Memorial Stadium. This is a cornfield. Oh, it's the uh, field of my dreams. Hey, uh, yeah, let's get you uh, warmed up. We'll use our new automatic pitching machine. Uh, you stand right here. Tweaky, get the wallet. Okay, I'm ready to play with the stars. <laughs> yeah, well, not until. Uh, well, you still need to work on your. Uh... That's it. A real pro knows how to slip and slide with the best of them, sport. And I'll give you a little something extra to get you going. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I said I'll uh, give you some extra pointers to get you going. Now, try a head voice slide. It'll get you into base faster. <laughs> Sliding. Yeah, there's no stars at this camp. I'm out of here. Wait, I think I see one of the biggest baseball stars of all time. Tweaky, go be a star player or we'll lose this jump for good. Your fantasy camp is nothing but a fantasy, Coach Buzzard. Indeed, he do. May I give you the famous Babe Birdie? Ah, I'm the world's biggest baseball star. Hmm. How come I never heard of him? He's, uh, the best-kept secret in baseball? So, you think you're pretty good stealing and running and stuff, huh? Well, I bet you can't handle my pitching. Give him your best shot, sport. I'll teach these low balls to use baseball to steal a guy's wallet. Batter up! Knock him in the next week, Tweaky. Then we'll get his wallet and van moose. Yourself to a meatball. <laughs> My custom slider. <laughs> Watch out for my bee ball. Twinkie. We'll get his wallet if it's the last thing we do. The woodpecker's running third for home. Yeah, and you're gonna be out cold at home. The woodpecker makes a spectacular catch. Would you look at that woodpecker play ball? in play. Big Butt McGurney? Wow! W would you sign my glove? You know, anybody who loves baseball the way you do deserves a front row seat to the big game today, Mr. Woodpecker. Woohoo! Next time, 
We watch the game on TV. <laughs> Ha 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 